So, hey, saints, it's Sister with a Testimony on location. And um, this is what is called Under the Bridge. Um, in Texarkana, Texas, there is um, um, Mission Texarkana. It's a ministry, and they have Church Under the Bridge. And um, we've come and kind of, you can see the cross hanging right there on the center column of the bridge. It's kind of cool. And uh, they actually have um, church under the bridge. And um, I have come and um, been at the top of the bridge overlooking uh, Texarkana, Texas and Arkansas. And I've uh, been doing some prophetic declarations here in the city. Um, this is like the furthest most east point uh, in northeast Texas. Uh, there's a lot of homeless here. Um, there's one guy we met and uh, he just got radically saved and the Lord turned him around and he actually lived right there under this bridge. And uh, of course we haven't found anybody that's living under this bridge technically, but even like right across the yard there under the bridge um, in that corner, there's a couple of tents and a couple of men live there. And then um, across the way there, if you look, that's where um, Mission Texarkana is at, the building, and they have a learning center. And then up from that, over across the way is, um, you, can, you can't really see it from here, but it's Randy Sam's homeless shelter. So this is a place that we've come and we have been praying over and blessing and um, met some wonderful people here. And we're actually going to be doing some ministry um, Sister with a Testimony Church and um, Hope on a Star Ministries um, with the horse. We're going to be doing some things here. So saints, just be praying for um, not just, um, you know, the location and, and um, favor with the, the officials that, um, you know, can say you can do this or you can't. But um, seriously speaking, those saints, um, we all have a mission. And our mission should be Yeshua HaMashiach's mission, the cause for Christ. When you lay your life down and you truly surrender, it's no longer about yourself. It's about the cause of Christ. I would encourage you today, saints, whatever the cause for Christ in your life is, that call, that still small voice, that that unction. Ask the Lord how you can contribute to the body of Christ and become a contributor and not just a, well, let's get real, a taker. Uh, in other words, you're either going to contribute and um, be an asset or you're going to be um, a recipient all the time. And instead of contributing, you're going to be that one that's always looking for a handout. There's nothing wrong with needing a hand up. But it shouldn't be all about what you can do for me. It should be what can I do for you. So I'm going to encourage you, saints. There are people out here. Yeah, I know the homeless. There's some of them that are lying. And there's some of them that are this and that and the other. Um, yeah somebody's got to do the work the <sighs> harvest is plenty and the laborers are few and then when you do get a few laborers they'll do it for a few weeks and then they'll you know well i got something else to do i am not trying to look for something else to do i have an undivided focus and come hell or high water I'm going to do what the Lord told me to do, and I'm not going to have an excuse. And if my mission is the homeless, if my mission is the lost, if my mission is the depressed or whatever, it may vary daily because I'm in contact with my Heavenly Father. I have a relationship, and I expect you as a believer to have a relationship. And if he sends you under the bridge, then go under the bridge. If he sends you to a church, then go to a church. If he sends you to your family or to Walmart, get up and do something. 
you can warm the seat in the church and you can keep that pew held down until you die and go on to glory. But I can guarantee you, you're going to be a little bit lacking when you stand there and say, well, you know, I thought all I had to do was go to church. No, we are the church. I like this idea. Let's bring the church outside the four walls of a building and have the church, the true ecclesia, the called out ones, show them that there's more to church than a building and pews and one hour on Sunday morning and maybe an hour on Wednesday and fellowships and us four no more. I love the church folk and I love to gather in the buildings with the church folk. But saints, people are dying and going to hell and a lot of them are in the church building every time the door opens. And I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about some folk, okay? So bless you today. Be encouraged that you are in the palm of the Lord's hand. No man can pluck you out except yourself. Be about your father's work. Then you won't have any, well, you won't have any excuse when the enemy comes knocking or when the father comes knocking and says, it's your time, you ain't going to have an excuse then, so don't have an excuse now. Get up and be about your father's work. I love you. God bless you. It's sister with a testimony in the field calling all saints with a testimony. I encourage you. I encourage you, saints. The gift that you've been given is not for you. It's for the body. Be blessed. Be encouraged. If you're condemned, it's not because I'm condemning you. If you're convicted, it's because the Holy Spirit is calling you to a higher level. Of understanding. So go to church. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. But sometimes, saints, there's more to life than holding down a pew. There's few that find that path, that narrow path, and walk therein. I hope you're one of the few. God bless you. I love you, sister with a testimony under the bridge.